Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth Carson and I'm thrilled to introduce to you an extraordinary weekend event happening right here in Miami, Florida on August 3rd and 4th. It's none other than the second annual Forbidden Conscious Awards weekend. After the tremendous success of last year's event with over 1,200 attendees from around the globe, we knew we had to make this year's event even more spectacular. On Saturday, we have a captivating conference lined up featuring world-renowned speakers such as Muhammad Ibrahim, Merkaba 13, Robert Grant, Billy Carson, and a woman's panel hosted by yours truly. Following the conference, we'll set sail for a VIP yacht cruise at sunset, where you'll have the chance to mingle with your favorite nominees and celebrity guests, all hosted by 19 Keys. Sunday, August 4th, kicks off with a Forbidden Knowledge book publishing signing event, followed by the highly anticipated second annual Forbidden Conscious Awards. This is a red carpet affair, so come dressed to impress. Remember last year, we surprised a lucky guest with an Audi A4 during the awards, and this year, we're upping the ante with a chance to win a Mercedes Benz. So make sure you secure your tickets early. This event is sure to sell out quickly. I cannot wait to see each and every one of you there for what promises to be an unforgettable weekend of education, inspiration, celebration, and glamour. Get that up, Gray. Hey, babe. Let's take a flight. Yes. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Get that up, Gray. Anywhere you are, though. That's what's up. Uh. Are you packing your bags? You already know. Get that up, Gray. Make your best night. Oh, it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late to make your best night. Oh, I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade. Let me get that upgrade. Make your best night. Biohack my life. Biohack your life. Say that twice. I write the code. I'm a biohack my best life. Give me the, give me the upgrade. I spent enough days trying to figure out my way. No longer in the maze. Had to get- hey, hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Biohack Your Best Life. My name is Elizabeth Carson, and today we have a very, very, very special guest. Our great friends, our family, Dr. B. Serious, and of course my hubby, we have Billy Carson, my co-host. Bit of knowledge. <laughs> A.K.A. Well, <laughs> bit of knowledge. <laughs> What's up, Dr. B.? It's amazing time. This is a, just a phenomenal space to be in. Yeah. The vortex is happening now. It's happening from us, by us, with us. I agree. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yes. I love it. Yes, yes. Well, Today, I really wanted to focus on one of the things that you specialize in, which is subconscious alignment. I think that's extremely important because subconscious, our subconscious basically controls us, right? 95% of our thought patterns are subconscious. So that's really what the driver is underneath everything we pretty much do and attracts, right? Yes. So our subconscious is is extremely important. Yeah, And I really want to just dive right into that today, so... And the subconscious is a, is attempting to help us live. Yes. And it was programmed by us. So we are actually the captain of the ship. And it's basically the vessel is the crew. Mm-hmm. So it's picking up its directions from our thoughts, our beliefs, yes. our actions. And the, one of the things that programs the subconscious is the repetition of the repetition of pleasure or pain. Mm-hmm. If you repeat something over and over, it's a certain thought, a certain feeling a certain word dynamic or language that you use, it just becomes programmed. And that subconscious is the automatic mind. Mm -hmm. So it keeps your heart beating, it's doing that. You can't, imagine if you had to think about digestion. I know, right? right? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) It's time to digest. You you gotta concentrate. So it is the autonomic (laughs) mind. It's it's, it's running things, you know, automatically all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's also recording every experience Mm -hmm. that we've had forever. Even in the womb in utero, mm-hmm. yes. you know, whatever it's hearing on the outside, it's programming. Yeah. Yes. So the mother's thoughts, the mother's feelings, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? All of that is a part of what we call the subconscious. Yes. And there's a small piece of it that we actually get from our ancestors. Mm-hmm. So this is why like lavender oil works. Mm-hmm. You know, you may have never smelled lavender oil, but everybody mm-hmm. smells it and relaxes. Yeah. It's not the oil itself. It's the memory mm-hmm. 
of our ancestors, you know, using lavender. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that lavender is great as a spice in food. Mm. I love, you know, I used to make lavender ice cream oh when I was gosh. in lavender honey ice cream when I was doing pastries. Yes. Wow. I'm going to make some for See, you. I'll take it. so good. <laughs> oh, yes. So good. And wow. very relaxing and calming relaxing. and refreshing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have all these memories and, you know, all of that is in the program. Mm. And even though we're not consciously thinking of things, that subconscious sometimes based on triggers, mm -hmm. based on a color. Like if you had an issue and it was a Santa Claus, you know, had to do with Santa Claus and Christmas. Every time you see the color Coca-Cola red, which is the Santa Claus color, mm -hmm. something Trigger. triggers in you. Trigger. You you feel all of a sudden you feel, you know, whatever you were feeling, it may have been, well, I didn't get what I wanted that Christmas yeah. and blah, 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 blah. But that programming pops up. Mm -hmm. You may not know it consciously, mm -hmm. but it affects the way you live. Yeah. You Absolutely. See. And mm -hmm. you know what? Let's talk about that a little further because so my life, my life, I was completely confused as to why I would feel like death. Literally, I felt like I would I was dying inside when someone would I would feel like they were abandoning me, even just walking away, closing a door. You know, that, that would feel like I was being like killed inside. Yes. And I'm like, why is this happening to mm -hmm. me? I don't. My parents, my my birth parents, my adoptive parents never left me. They never abandoned me. Yes. But yet I was adopted. So I realized that my core wound came from when before I was even born inside of the womb when my mom didn't want me. Right. Because yes. I actually did regression work and shot back into my mother's womb and felt her emotions of yes. stress, depression, anger, confusion. And that was the basically what was happening that was programming my mm -hmm. subconscious right. to say, hey, this is happening to you. So, so yes, your body, your subconscious remembers everything, even everything. if you don't consciously remember it, because I didn't consciously remember yeah. what my yeah. mom felt, mm -hmm. but my body did, my cells did, my subconscious did. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, it absolutely has everything to do with, um, yeah, triggers. <laughs> yeah, triggers, subconscious triggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not just the disagreeable things. Right. It's the agreeable things that happen That's, too. Yes. Yeah. All of it's in there, mm -hmm. right? The average adult lives life as an adult based on the conclusions of a child. Mm -hmm. Conclusions. Now, imagine you're a child. Yeah. And you're concluding what's good. What's not good? What's right? What's wrong? Mm. That is a program that goes into us. So the rest of our life, we're living things based on the program until we're able to catch the program. Mm. Yeah. Because the conscious mind is the captain of the ship. Mm -hmm. It actually is running the show. Mm -hmm. But if it's not conscious, it just lets it. We're on automatic pilot. Yes. Yeah. We're just floating along on the ocean, you know, yes. the, you know, and the <laughs> boat knows where to go, and you know, you react this way based on. Right. Automatic responses, yep. but when reactions. the but when the captain takes over, yeah, that's when everything changes. Mm -hmm. And I, and one of the things that really does it is if something comes up and you feel you're starting to notice how you feel about something. Mm -hmm. If you breathe deeply, mm -hmm. because breathing is controlled by the subconscious. Mm -hmm. You don't have to think to breathe. Right. So if you run, it knows to bring up respiration faster. Yeah. You know? But if something happens and you begin to take control of your breath, yeah. Mm -hmm automatically the body says oh wait the captain is speaking yeah mm. the captain is speaking and the captain is running the show mm -hmm. stop playing back old recorded files yeah and record what's happening now mm. yeah so that's one of the ways you can catch uh -huh. yourself really quickly is through breath yeah yeah breath is everything mm -hmm. i love that that's yeah. what i tell people to do all the time when they're feeling very triggered or emotional inside take a deep breath and start paying attention to your body yeah and what your body is doing and that brings online the stuff the, the conscious mind yes yeah yes. yeah and it's yes. amazing because you can actually feel that shift if you're really paying attention yeah you can feel that shift you don't have to have anything traumatic traumatic happening to you if you just go from the auto autonomic system breathing to controlling your own breathing and yes. controlling your inhale and exhale, mm -hmm. you'll feel the shift of awareness mm -hmm. begin to happen. Yeah, yes. and it actually brings your, your nervous system from fight or flight to rest and digest yeah. to parasympathetic. So it shifts your nervous system as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, powerful mm -hmm. stuff. So talk about subconscious alignment then. Like, what does that mean for a person? Well, to be really successful in life and to live life on purpose, mm -hmm. Your conscious thoughts and ideas and goals have to be in alignment with your subconscious programming. Mm -hmm. If your conscious mind says, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, 
and the subconscious says, no, you're a loser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Or yes. I'm a king and I'm a queen, right? And your subconscious says, no, you're a pauper. You're broke. Uh -huh. You have nothing. Remember how you got in trouble when you were a child and you failed math? Uh -huh. You see, that program actually has more power than yeah. the other program unless you take control. Mm -hmm. So subconscious alignment is when you take your conscious thoughts and your goals and you align them with your subconscious by reprogramming them. So yeah. through positions, you know, there's these positions that you put your body in. They're mudras, basically. Yeah. So you're using mudras, you're using word sounds, mm. and cymatics has a lot to do with this mm. because your body is basically seven oceans, mm -hmm. mm. seven different types of fluids in the body. Yeah. So you're on the sea of life. You're like the captain. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say actually sends a message to your entire body. Sound travels quicker, faster, more purely through water or through fluid than mm -hmm. it does through air. That's right. Yeah. So it starts with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So in subconscious alignment, the first thing we do is we find out what you desire. Mm -hmm. And this is a big one because when I was seeing clients, I would ask them, well, what do you desire? Yeah. For the next hour, they would tell me what they, they don't desire. <laughs> I said, well, what do you desire? They would tell me all the problems, all the diseases. <laughs> yeah. And they would say things like, I don't want to be broke. Yeah. I don't want to mm -hmm. be alone. I don't want to have this disease. I said, well, what do you want? And they yeah. just kind of, well, what do you mean? I'm, well, what do you desire? Right. And I would have to work with them mm -hmm. to formulate a goal. Well, I want to be a millionaire. I said, well, actually, that might only be 500000 until you talk to Billy and figure out where to put this money. <laughs> if you don't know that, then the, the tax people are coming to get half. <laughs> so, so maybe you need to ask for two billion. Yeah, and right. what are you going to do with the money? Uh -huh. Well, I would do this. I said, well, let's only talk about what you would do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to travel the world and be on beaches. I'd like to go to the Forbidden Knowledge Awards. Right. I would like to be on TV. I'd like to have you know a, a, a book of this. Mm -hmm. So if you focus on an outcome mm -hmm. and you become outcome orientated and you create a word statement, mm -hmm. the statement, this is a language syntax. This is the main thing, mm -hmm. because a lot of times when a person is saying their mantra, 90 percent of the mantras that people say are reverse mantras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're mentioning all the things they in no way desire in the mantra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why would you mention what you in no way desire yeah. in the mantra? But right. you taught this. Yeah. When I went to mantra class, I got a certificate in mantra making. Yeah. I was crazy when I left out of there because <laughs> everything was about you saying what you in no way desire. Right. Why don't we just mention the desire? Yeah. Right. And it has to be first person. Mm -hmm. okay. It has to be present tense. Mm -hmm. Right. It has to be positive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It has to be those three things. Otherwise, you're programming this other stuff, and this sounds like gibberish because the subconscious mind is like a little child. Yeah, mm. It doesn't think. It has no feelings. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even know English. It knows the cymatic frequency and the energy field yeah. of what it is that you're saying. Yep. Your conscious mind says, oh, this is what I mean. Like if you say want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want is basically it comes out to be the, the desire without action. Mm -hmm. That's why people that want like you couldn't want forbidden knowledge. Right. right. You're not going to get it. You're not going to yeah. get it. Most people that want all day, they're wanting, listen to it. Uh -huh. It's like yeah. a crashing plane. Yeah. 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 But if you start saying, you know, you 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 it, you, you create it now in the now. Mm -hmm. And you also can't ask for anything in the future. Mm -hmm. Subconscious says, we're confused. What the heck is the future? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Another thing about the subconscious mm -hmm. is the subconscious cannot perceive or conceive of anything out of outside of self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even when you're talking about God, it's like yeah. me. Mm -hmm. When you say Jesus, yeah. the subconscious says me. Yeah. So I say Mises. <laughs> <laughs> you see? It's nobody out there. There's nothing out there. Anything right. that you see, even if you're pointing a finger at others and you know, in whatever way, mm -hmm. that's still you. Yeah. Yeah. So once you internalize this and say, I am the captain of the ship and I'm the only one on the ship, mm -hmm. and you begin to speak into existence. Yeah. Then your genes, your genies, mm -hmm. are listening to what you desire mm -hmm. in every second. Mm -hmm. So what would you like? Yeah. And that's why the genie is on the magic carpet. That's yeah. DNA on its side. Yeah. When you rub the bottle, which is your body, mm -hmm. by speaking, acting, yes. exercising, yeah. the genie pops out. A vapor pops out the top of the bottle. Yeah. That's the body. Yeah. Okay. Wow, the genie deep. pops yeah. out and yeah. says, well, what do you desire? Then you speak. Well, I don't want this. I don't want what it says. Well, by you saying you do not, 
Yeah. Subconsciousness is well, well the, was the stronger thing is the disagreeable because uh -huh. we're trying to save you and we're looking for danger. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the dangerous statement gets the energy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got to do with you setting up a statement and then repeating it mm -hmm. over and over and over. And in subconscious alignment, we have several exercises that the person does mm -hmm. every single day mm -hmm. to write that into their programming. Mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. after it gets strong enough, it rewrites the disagreeable program. Mm -hmm. It's actually really simple. Yeah. yeah. We've been doing it already. We just don't know. We just don't know. We yeah. don't have the tool. Yeah. Well, we have them. Yeah. But you've got to recognize what the tools are. Right. Right. And what you're talking about is extremely provable in a laboratory setting because they've actually done this. What you just said, they've had people write down positive affirmations about themselves individually and then speak those positive affirmations out loud for 21 days yes. and they study the DNA. Yes. And they discover that in 21 days, the DNA begins to rewrite itself yeah. in a laboratory setting, duplicatable experiment. So we're talking about real science, real physiology. We're not talking about woo woo. It's real. Like yes. it, it, this really happens to people. And if you believe it and if you follow and subscribe to it, you can reprogram yourself. Yeah. And then that, that's crazy because I didn't even know what I was doing back when I was doing this. Yeah. But when I was trying to align my thoughts with what I wanted, I realized, I mean, I had the disease of negative thought patterns, right? Yes. It was just constantly day to day to day, just negative thought patterns. And I was, I was aware of them, but I couldn't stop them. It would just, I would, I would go conscious and then unconscious conscious and then unconscious. I would always catch myself, but it would just be a pattern. So what I did was I listened to affirmations for about two years straight, literally every, every morning affirmations for about two hours, two years straight. And I swear, I don't have negative thoughts anymore, mm. hardly yes. ever. And if I do, it's like, oh my God, I have a negative thought yeah. and I, I, I'm aware of it, conscious of it. And I let it go. Yes. Yeah. I allow yes. the good, <laughs> the goodness, the positivity and the awareness of presence yeah. to, to rule me at this point. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the body and it's also called the body mind. Mm -hmm. It's looking for evidence mm -hmm. to prove what your reticular activating system, mm -hmm. right, is focusing on. Yes. So you'd like, you know, you'd like the red car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you start noticing red cars everywhere. Mm -hmm. But this happens in the disagreeable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be a problem. Problems are everywhere. Oh, yeah. Because yes. you are attracting it. You're actually yes. moving your timeline jumping. Yeah. You went to another timeline where there's nothing but drama. Yeah. <laughs> There's so people right. right now that's living in a cabin. They don't have any. They don't have any phone. Yeah, the, the, the life is beautiful. They're beautiful. all playing with Bambi's mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The fishing is great. <laughs> they don't have any issue until yeah. they come to the city. Uh -huh. yeah. And then this person, if you have enough love and respect for yourself, even if you come into drama, you may not see it. Right. Yeah. Right. Because you're able to look at that and say, "Well, this is an opportunity." Mm -hmm. Right. Everything that looks like it's trouble is an opportunity. Perception, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What do you see it as? Yeah. What do you believe it is? Yeah. You know, the people who won in the uh in the uh what was it um um God Power 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I asked them, what do you do? What do you what do y'all do for a living? Mm -hmm. Well, I just got you know fired from my job and I have yeah. shit. And the other one, what do you do? Well, uh, I said, is that what you do for a living? Yeah, that's what I do for a living. I said, let's fix this really quickly. Mm. What do you really like? What are you passionate about? Mm -hmm. Oh, gardening. I love yeah. my plants. They, the energy they lit, moves they up. They lit up, yeah. Lit I said, up. so it seems like right now you're living and a few minutes ago you were dying. Yeah. So that's what you do for a dying. Right. And they were like, huh? <laughs> and I said, so think about the plants and think about, well, how am I going to make money? If you get into something enough and you're yeah. passionate about it, how many people are buying plants right now? Mm -hmm. Billions. Okay. Yeah. Plants. Yeah. They want flowers. They got edible That's flowers now. I know. Yeah. Edible know. flower arrangements. Yeah. If we, I never really thought about that. Uh, you see, so when you begin to get excited about a goal that you create, because mm -hmm. you're always three feet from gold. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You're always three feet from gold. I love that book. But you got to keep digging. So a lot of times you throw the pickaxe down. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I can't get to the goal. Your friends are there. Mm -hmm. They've been coming, eating popcorn, watching you every day. <laughs> you throw the pickaxe down. They grab the pickaxe and dig. And two days later, boom, boom, they got you. And then you're mad. Mm -hmm. They stole my goal. No, you gave up. Yeah. Because the opportunity comes every day. Mm -hmm. But if you don't open the door, it mm -hmm. just goes to somebody else. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to recognize opportunities. 
You see what I'm saying? By first speaking it in, in, into, into existence. Mm -hmm. Because your thoughts become words. Yeah. Your words become actions. Your actions harden into character. Yeah. And you got to break the spell that your parents may have you know, given you. Yeah. It was all hand-me-downs. Yeah. You know, they taught you to live in the junkyard. You're mm -hmm. outside of the junkyard, but you still feel like you're living in the junkyard, mm -hmm. grabbing little pieces of things like a, like a pack rat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. Right. So even having one experience, mm -hmm. so the folks that won, they got to stay at the Ritz-Carlton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, have you ever stayed? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those people's lives are changed forever. Yeah, they're changed. Yeah. I saw it in their eyes. Oh, their yeah. eyes were like, you can tell. They're not going home the same people that they came. Oh no! When they yeah. uh, when when our chauffeur brought them back to the airport, the the ladies were just blown yeah. away. Nina yeah. was saying that they were blown away, yeah. like so grateful, so mm -hmm. happy that yeah, it, it changed their lives. Yeah, and they all said they knew they were going to win. That's yeah. right. They did. They, they did. They did say that. Yeah. <laughs> what? All I'm three not... of them had the same statement. Yeah, they knew. They all knew. They knew. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. When you know, you cre actually create that dimension. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. We yeah. are we are creating dimensions. Mm -hmm. Yes. But a lot of people end up with dementia. Right. Yeah. You're lost. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just yeah. floating. Facts. You've forgotten yeah. who you are. Mm -hmm. That subconscious is not controlling you. Yeah. Mm. It's on autopilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to take over as the captain. Yeah. Yes. You got to get. You know, a lot of people fell asleep at the wheel. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, I call them NPCs. It's a lot of NPCs, you yes. know, non-player characters out here, Woo. just operating on matrix programming code, not ever really realizing that they truly are alive. Yeah, they're living, but they're not alive. Walking they're not alive. reactions. They've right. got to exactly walking reactions. They've got to be. They've got to get to the point where they they realize that they are more powerful, and they become awakened to who they really are, and they just separate themselves from the NPC and begin to control the NPC and reprogram the NPC. And now they're inhabiting a body that they're in full control of, like you said, becoming the captain of the ship. Absolutely. So if you get on the, the microphone, the PA system of the ship, and you uh, now hear this, this is your captain speaking. It's, <laughs> it's going to be rough out there. I heard there's giant boat chasing <laughs> icebergs. <laughs> you know, and there's, there's saber tooth squids and, you know, <laughs> and sea squid. monsters. And there's mines that the Japanese left. <laughs> And we're going to try to make it to our destination. You see what happened to our entire family. <laughs> the crew, what, 70 or how many trillion? I don't know how they counted how many. 73 cells. trillion. I don't know how, how they counted. How do they know? I don't know. <laughs> it's an estimate. So they're all listening. Yeah. That's your crew. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 listen to Reacting. that. They're, they're like, oh, my God, this sounds bad. Mm -hmm. Prepare for the so worst. So we need to have a disease. Mm -hmm. We need to, it's, it's trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's scary out there. So let's just fail the mission now mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and let's get in the water and drown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you come on the ship, you know, now hear this, now hear this. This is your captain speaking. That's why I love Captain Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be on the boat. It's, it's like the end. It looks like they're not going to make it. So Captain Kirk, no matter what happens, it can look like they're about to hit a planet. And this the end. He fixes his shirt. He says, okay, crew. And he has a speech for them mm -hmm. and he gets their morale up. Yeah. So when you get up and you start setting up morale, more rules, mm -hmm. and you act like the captain. Yeah. But when you say this is the captain speaking, which is every time you talk, mm -hmm. you're talking to the crew. Yeah. If you look at how bad conditions are, and that's what you speak on, mm -hmm. you focus on the problems all day. Yes. That circle gets bigger and bigger, and it yeah. just consumes you. Yeah. If you focus on what you can control, mm -hmm. And you focus on that and you speak it into existence. See, this is what I call maximizing the minimum. If you have $50, you have money. Mm -hmm. The body doesn't know how much $50 is. Right. And if you say to this money, all right, now I need you. This is your captain speaking money. Mm -hmm. I need you to go find more of your own. Yeah. It starts expanding. All of a sudden, you get a phone call. Mm -hmm. We've got an extra $150 we found for you. Mm -hmm. And money will attract itself as long as you become attractive. Right. Yep. We're all extremely attractive. We're magnetic. Mm -hmm. So it starts with what we speak, yeah. and then it starts with our actions. Yeah. So there's an exercise we do after we find this language statement for people. The next thing we do is we say, you've got to program it into your system. Mm -hmm. You write it seven times with your right hand mm -hmm. and seven times with your left hand. Both now, one right. hand is... You know what I'm saying? It <laughs> looks like a little retarded child. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, what I'm saying? You can't say that anymore. Retarded. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> We're saying it. 
<laughs> That's what they called me <laughs> subconsciously. They called me retarded. <laughs> I started to like it. I'm retarded. <laughs> I can, now I can really fail and get out of class. <laughs> I used it. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm getting off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> but once you write it and you keep writing it, mm -hmm. the boat writes itself mm -hmm. because one hand is writing into one hemisphere. Mm -hmm. This is hemisync in another way. Oh, yeah. yeah. The other one is writing into the other hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Every single day, you write it seven times. Mm -hmm. And it starts to write itself. It starts to program itself. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then whatever you say before you go to bed mm -hmm. is your mm -hmm. seed time. Yep. That's your meditation. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are thinking, feeling, ruminating on before you go to sleep becomes programmed deep into the subconscious fertile earth. Mm -hmm. And you're watering those seeds for eight hours. Mm -hmm. And now the next day, guess what? They have no choice but to grow. Yep. And you're wondering why, why do I have bad luck? Because you thought bad luck thoughts. Mm. Mm. You sitting there before you go to sleep thinking about how rough it was today, yep. how rough it's going to be tomorrow, how you hate your job. Quit the job mm -hmm. in your mind. Mm -hmm. And you say, yeah. well, how am I going to survive? Stop calling it a job. Yeah. Say this is my investment vehicle. Exactly. Mm. Change the perception. I'm doing this to build upon something. Mm. Mm. No, you don't want to stay there until you retire and get the watch. Yeah. Because by the time you get the watch, you're done. Mm -hmm. And why do you get the watch at the end? <laughs> so you can just watch yourself sit there and just watch the news. Mm -hmm. And the news is programming you. It's a loop. Yeah. So all these things make you loopy. Mm -hmm. But once you break the spell, mm -hmm. once you make a choice to change yeah. everything, everything changes. Yeah. yeah. Because your environment is listening to you. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Powerful. So we experience. Remember, it was about it was probably about two years ago. We kept experiencing these horrible waiters and waitresses. Oh, yeah. Horrible. And we were like, oh, we just can't stand these these hor this horrible service. It's awful. It's mm -hmm. so bad. And then I, one day I was like, you know what? I think we're creating our reality. Mm -hmm. I was like, we're creating these horrible because every yeah. single time we would ever go anywhere, it was horrible. It was horrible. Horrible. And you were like, Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. And so from that day on, we were like, no, we're not about to talk about horrible waitresses yeah. <laughs> and right. waiters anymore. Exactly. And it was that day. It changed. Yeah. Yeah. And see, when folks find out how simple this is, yeah. we make small changes in folks' lives. It changes everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, so you were projecting, you were predicting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. The horrible waitress. Yeah. yeah. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Of mm -hmm. course, the universe has got to listen to you. Yes. Right. Because yeah. you're in charge. Mm -hmm. You're God. Yeah. Now, guess what? You get there and she's already there. She just got the word. Hi, what would you like? <laughs> she's spilling coffee on you. You know what I'm saying? She's, her hair falls off into your potatoes. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But you created that. Yeah. yeah. Once you start creating another view of the world, mm -hmm. and once you feel it as if yeah. it's already happened, mm -hmm. once you, not, not only it's got to, it's got to be kinesthetic, yeah. auditory, and visual. Yeah. Right. You got to feel it as if it's happening. Mm hmm. You've got to speak it and hear it in your ears mm -hmm. as if it's already happened. Yeah. Then you got to see it. Don't yep. go with seeing first. Mm -hmm. Your eyes have been getting photoshopped since Mickey Mouse. That's mm -hmm. right. You don't know what you're seeing. You don't know anything. There were so many things in the cartoons mm -hmm. that you subconsciously saw. Yeah. And they, they, you know, it's a cartoon. Right. It's a car spirit song. Mm -hmm. So you're programming. A lot of the cartoons when I was young was mm -hmm. all about fighting and yeah. competition. And mm -hmm. it was this is crazy stuff we're mm -hmm. watching. Yeah. So then we grow up and we're in competition. Mm -hmm. The only person we should ever be in competition with is our old self. That's mm -hmm. it. Period. Yes. You can win. You mm -hmm. will win yeah. by changing your mindset. I was just looking at the guy in Africa mm -hmm. who made the car that runs on air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He lives in a little village. Mm -hmm. How did he do this? Well, you can't tell him that it's not possible because he did it. Exactly. Yeah. Now right. he's just got to worry about the government coming after him because <laughs> the car running on air. Right. But think about the things that we have created. We're very creative. Mm -hmm. All of us are very creative yeah. and very attractive. Mm -hmm. You're attracting what you are. That's it. Yes. So when you say horrible waitress, she's waiting on you. She's, That's right. She, she didn't even have a job. They hired her today. Mm -hmm. He's got the job. Yep. The Carsons will be here exactly at four thirty-five. <laughs> they come here every day. Yeah. We want you to. We want you to work with them. <laughs> but when you say when you know, and you you project and predict something else, because mm -hmm. we're very predictive people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the mind is always predicting. Always yes. predict the best that can happen. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be tested now. Yeah, it's going to be storm. Mm -hmm. The iceberg did seem like it was following you. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So when you change your mind, you change everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
everybody's got a book in them. Everybody's got a story. Well, write it. Yeah. You know? But I don't really know anybody. You don't know anybody yet. Yeah. I've been working on my book for five years. Mm -hmm. Five years, something would happen every time. Mm. Because my father had a whole idea about this. Well, you know, if you're not on Life magazine, and if you're, you know, he had this whole because yeah. he was the you know, authority figure in my life. Mm -hmm. You see, but when, when I tapped into my mother, mm -hmm. which was just recently, yeah. you can do anything. Mm. You can do anything. I was yeah. like, oh wait, I can do anything. Yeah. So now I've got this book that kept fighting me. Mm -hmm. I was just at the hotel last night, yeah. looking at the ocean. Right, ordering beautiful food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, I didn't even want to go walk on the beach. I yeah. said, I am the beach. Right. Mm. I looked out that window. I was up all night wow. finishing this book, which mm. is about this subject, yeah. which is about the mental parasites, mm -hmm. the spiritual parasite. Mm. Think about that. Yeah. My whole family is haunted. Yeah. You know, we've got a generational curse. Guess what? The curse wasn't even at your house. Mm -hmm. The curse was up the street about to visit somebody else and they said, wait a minute. <laughs> the Johnsons need a curse. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're writing cursive, you're cursing yourself out because uh, you're creating it. Right. We're we very creative. Everything. We're creating mm -hmm. everything. If human beings didn't have the ability to create anything, we, we wouldn't have anything here. Right. We wouldn't have this microphone, this table, not even the clothes on our back would exist. Exactly. We are creators by nature. We create everything physically and subconsciously. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember one point I said, if I get a lot of money, I'd never want a Rolls Royce. Mm. I hate Rolls Royces. <laughs> That's because I was, you know, I was a Volkswagen mechanic at the time. <laughs> How I could afford one. And I became a Volkswagen mechanic so I could fix my own cars. <laughs> I was a teenager. Uh -huh. I used to build Volkswagens, go to the junkyard, uh -huh. put pieces together. They were all different colors. Oh, man. Then I came down here with y'all and I rode in the Rolls Royce Ghost. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw the stars. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they look like me. And then, you know, this, this is the shit. <laughs> I can't tell if the car's moving or not. <laughs> I always want to open the door and they say, oh, no, don't open it, don't touch the door. <laughs> now, after three times, right? After three times, it's programmed. Yeah. yeah. Now you program. You know, the so yeah. coming to get your I door. You don't have to touch the right. door. <laughs> you know not to touch that door. Why would I touch this door? That's right. not my job to touch this door. I'm not struggling. <laughs> you know, before I wanted to go vote, you know, vote as a struggler and a yeah. victor crack. Right. No. Vote for love, vote mm. for harmony, vote mm. to be wealthy. Yeah. Yes. But you gotta go have some experiences. So mm. go down to the Rolls Royce dealer. Mm -hmm. Reverend Ike talks about that. Mm -hmm. He would go down to the Rolls Royce dealer as a teenager and just sit in the car. Mm -hmm. They thought he was crazy. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll be back to get him. Yeah. What did he do? He had a whole fleet of them. Yes, he did. And it's not about something material. Sometimes it's just something that you really love. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn your language of love. Yeah. Yes, you yes, see? so important. What is your language of love? What do you really like? Mm -hmm. Who are the people around you? Yeah. Now, if you've got a lot of folks, they have this thing called, ah, wow, this is a deep one. Mm. They feel that they always got to help everybody else. Yes. Mm -hmm. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Yeah. They feel they have to be there to give up all their energy to mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. yep. and mm -hmm. take nothing. Yep. Yeah. I only give 10% now. Mm -hmm. That was that's what they said in church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give ten percent. Was that yeah. Melchizedek or somebody? Yeah, weird name for a dude, but I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Only give ten percent. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you feel like you're a servant, mm -hmm. and that comes from being oppressed. Yeah. Yep. After we come from oppression, after a while, you become the oppressor. Mm -hmm. You may not oppress others. Yeah. That you oppress yourself, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're ready to get off the farm. You mm -hmm. want to be the black sheep yep. and jump over the fence. Mm -hmm. But then they said, "No, come on, the other sheep are calling. No, you can't go. Mm -hmm. If you know how bad is wolves out there." Yeah. The black sheep said, "I haven't seen any wolves. Mm -hmm. There's wolves. You seen them on the sheep television news? <laughs> you gotta stay here. Don't jump the fence. <laughs> no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad." <laughs> now, if the black sheep was to be stuck in that mindset, mm -hmm. it would never jump the fence. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But because the black sheep doesn't see the farm, it's not part of the farm I see. Mm -hmm. it says, mm -hmm. no, I'm going to go out here and hang out yeah. and go have fun. I'll come back and visit you guys. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it's oh, a male yeah. sheep, that's really fine white <laughs> sheep over there. I'll go visit in the nighttime, yeah. but I'm leaving in the day. Uh -huh. You've got to realize that you were born to break the spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were born to be a winner. How many sperm were going for that egg? Mm. So we're born winners. That's right. We're born winners. We are born winners and survivors. Because if you look at the genetic pool, 
and go back to all the bubonic plague, black plague, right? The wars, the murders, the killings and everything else that happened. And we are the survivors of all of that. Mm. We are survivors. We're winners and survivors. We're the strongest of the strongest. Only the strongest survive. And people think that they're weak and they, you know, and they and they give their power away. No, the power is here. We have mm. the power. We are the winners. Mm -hmm. But you have to believe it and know it. Yeah. Every time Billy tells his story about childhood, I almost feel like I want to cry. <laughs> I'm ready to cry. I said, wait a minute. How much does this car cost? <laughs> is he living in a house made out of crystals? <laughs> He's got every time I it's always boxes and boxes of these <laughs> Oh man. Maybe I need a rough story too. Because <laughs> he was able to go that low, yeah. Yeah. right? And be there and mm -hmm. realize what it was he was creating. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people have what? They have chronic servitude syndrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you got chronic servitude syndrome, you feel like you should be serving everybody else. Right. Yeah. Doing everything for everyone and not being what, more self-caring. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't say selfish. Mm. You've got to take care of you first. You yes. have to. Put that in your subconscious because it's repetition. It's the mm -hmm. repetition of pleasure or pain. Yeah. Take care of you. Yeah. yeah. Just do something for you and stop telling everybody what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go for a walk in the park. Why are you going for a walk in the park? I know. There's dog poo poo out there. <laughs> they, say, they said there's a bad guy in the neighborhood and he's some type of a, he, you know what I'm saying? So you go, oh, I don't want to go to the park. I'm just going to yeah. stay in here. Yeah. But if you go to the park and you see nothing but the leaves mm -hmm. and the, all of these things, mm -hmm. I was noticing the other day, it's springtime now, right? Mm -hmm. I was looking at the buds coming on the trees. Mm -hmm. They're all brand new. Mm -hmm. I said, what if the tree spent most of his time trying to bend over and grab the leaves mm. from last year? Wow. Mm. We need to do the cartoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to do the anime on yeah. this. Yes. Because that's where that's deep. Mm -hmm. the tree is bending over to mm -hmm. give me those leaves. Mm -hmm. I need them because those leaves are things that need to be left. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Gotta leave them. There's dead branches on some of the trees. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the tree is not giving any energy to the dead branch. Right. Mm -hmm. It is constantly expanding and expressing itself. Mm -hmm. The squirrels are not talking about the winter. Could you imagine them? It was a rough winter last year. <laughs> oh my God. You remember that storm on November 12th? Oh my God. We almost died. Yeah. The squirrels that can't they can't do that. No. They're focusing on now. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. This moment that never existed yeah. before. Yeah. So don't get all, you know what I'm saying? Don't get the squirrels confused. Mm -hmm. Watch nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not caught on what had happened. Right. 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 And then that they, they don't have the ability to talk about that. Mm -hmm. And the ones that can have that memory die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in order to live, you got to do something for a living right now mm -hmm. that excites you. Mm -hmm. You've got to repeat it. And yeah. you've got to go places and do things that you've never done. Yeah. yeah. You see, there was a lady years ago. We had a big place in L.A. Elevation was a beautiful place in Los Angeles. And this lady came one day and people would always put like little money in the basket for a donation. You hear like little change. Tink, tink, tink. So one day I go to the basket and it's like an envelope with five hundred dollars in it. Mm. And I said, and I call. I said, who, who left the envelope? And the lady said, I did. Mm. I said, so what's going on? She says, oh, I just lost my job, my car, my house and everything. Mm. That's my last five hundred dollars. Wow! I said, "Oh no, we can't take this." She says, "No, you have to take it." Oh wow! I'm I'm, I'm worried about her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She says, "No, I'm going to do magic," mm -hmm. and she leaves. Wow! She comes back three months later. She's got a brand new Volvo wagon. Mm -hmm. Remember the <laughs> Volvo wagon? Yeah, that was that was that was big back then. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> She's huge. got this new guy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, what happened? She says, "Well, I gave everything up." So I had nothing to hold on to. Oh, wow. I let it all go. And mm. I focused on my dreams. Mm. I went to the park. I did the grounding you guys talk about. Yeah. Mm. I did the meditation. I did the breathing. And I did the writing exercises mm. in class. So it manifested because I became it. Wow. Mm. I wasn't waiting for it to come and save me. Mm -hmm. I had to save mm. myself. S-O-S. Save yeah. ourselves. Wow. Amazing! Wow, when you let go, yeah, yeah. So many people have that story. Clint Over, for instance, mm -hmm. he got really, really rich um, um, in his life, and then got really sick, mm. and got out of his sickness, and then decided that he didn't want any of his riches anymore, and he literally sold everything, mm. got an RV, and just started driving around the country grounding, yeah. and then he really, really just dove into grounding, and now. Yeah. 
look at him. I mean, he's the, the founder and CEO of Earthing and is out here helping. Multi-million dollar corporation is helping people all over the world. All over the world. Yeah. All he was the world. one that beat me for the, uh, the health and love. Yeah. Like, yeah. I said, if they would have told me that he was running, I would have <laughs> taken it out. You know what I'm saying? Because he goes to the park and he's looking at people yeah. and noticing they all got on plastic shoes, high mm -hmm. heels. They're not touching the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're not getting grounded, then you're not getting the message. So you could be sending a message out forever yeah. of what you desire. Mm. That, that, that you're sending it out to the yeah. cosmos. Well, mm -hmm. guess where the answer is going to come? Mm -hmm. Through the earth. Yeah. Mm. You see, if your feet are on the ground, that's mm -hmm. how you're going to get the message. Yeah. But if you're on, you know, stilts all day and uh -huh. rubber shoes and you never touch the earth, yeah. then you don't get the other side because it's yin and yang, right? yep. positive that's and negative. Yes. yes. You see what I'm saying? You've got to create heaven on earth. That's yep. it. But yep. if you're not on the earth, right? <laughs> you live in your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The blue light all yeah. day, oh, all night. Yeah. And you, you, you know, you now it's like a thing. It's like a drug. Mm -hmm. As soon as you wake up in the morning, oh, you haven't even gone to the restroom yet. It's haven't even brushed your teeth. You look at the phone. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? And you know some so stuff bad. happened. You know what I'm saying? What's like right now? If you go to your phone, there's some stuff happening. You, you always go to these terrible happenings. Oh my God! He's looking at me. He's just walking lonely in the park. You heard what happened? He's at the airport. Oh my God! You see what I'm saying? And yeah. your subconscious thinks that's you. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. You see? Yeah. So before you go to bed at night, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You're thinking about, and then you know we always call our friends. In our family and tell them what's going on with us. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I'm trying to get this new job, and you know, there's over 500 people trying to get the same job, and it's really rough. You, you can forget it. You're not getting the job, mm -hmm. right? And also, those people are putting their thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. well, we're gonna yes. pray for you. Right. To which God? Right. All right. Which God you about to pray? For? <laughs> yeah, right. Because some of them gods ain't helped us yet. Yeah. Right. I'm still waiting for that last God mm -hmm. to come help me. Right. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that you have to be the God of your universe. Exactly. Yeah. But we leak. Mm -hmm. And we tell other people too much. Mm -hmm. You keep it, keep it in you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Learn these techniques. Your subconscious mind is also the gold mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You yeah. got to learn how to treasure hunt. Yeah. Play like a child. Become a child again, mm -hmm. and act like you're playing in the dirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called grounding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing I tell people, I say, go get on the swings. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you've been to the playground? I love swings. Yeah. Did I you know swing. that when you get on the swings, you're going positive, negative? Yeah. Pop, yeah. Did you know your DNA begins to rewind itself huh. from swinging? The whole playground mm -hmm. was set up. This is from ancient people. Yeah. This was about the dexterity uh -huh. mm -hmm. of the mind mm -hmm. of the child. Mm -hmm. Wow. The slide, you climb up and you slide. Whee! Mm -hmm. So when you, as an adult, go to the playground, the subconscious says we're children again. Yeah. Mm. We don't have any problem. We don't have to pay no bills. Yeah. We don't even have us. We don't even know what a cell phone is because mm. it hasn't been invented yet. Yeah. Mm. And you know, you're swinging, you're playing with the children. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the subconscious says that's what we are. Yeah. Mm. So you know, do some things like that that yeah. actually reset you, oh, so yeah. you can play like a child. Stop going to work. I don't go to work. Right. I go to play. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I exactly. go to play. You say work. The subconscious says war. Mm -hmm. It's a fight. War. You're battling. Yes. Let's get off the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Stop war yeah. shipping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're on a warship? Mm -hmm. I thought you was on a love boat. <laughs> you're on a warship. So you meet other people, right? You meet them and they're at war. Uh -huh. You're at war. You're both voting Victocrat this year. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting there. You become really good lovers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're making love out of drama. Mm -hmm. And you wonder why are things so bad? Yeah. Because you're already broken up with yourself. You've That's already it. broken your own heart. Mm. I hope they don't break my heart. Guess what they're doing? They're figuring out how to break their heart. Yeah. Mm. What is your heart made out of? Mm. Is it plastic? You see? And when you realize that heart math, mm -hmm. mm. when you begin to send that energy out from your heart, yeah. and you get that, that the gut, the heart, and the brain to be connected together. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's it. Oh, that's it. Now you're a winner. Yeah. Yep. Nobody can tell you anything other than that. That's right. And when they talk to you crazy, you just look at them and say, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that into consideration. <laughs> so you yep. this is how you take something into consideration. You go outside at night, take off your shoes, mm -hmm. and let the stars touch you. Yeah. Consider means to allow the stars to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Consider means star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
take it into consideration. Yeah. Whatever they're saying, ground it out. Yeah. <laughs> I love That's it. it. I, love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Amazing. Yeah. And I wish you didn't have to go to the airport. I know. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. The yeah, plane. You got, you got to get on the plane. <laughs> they're waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. See? The plane, boss. The, the plane. plane. The plane. The plane. <laughs> yes. But, man, this was an amazing talk. It was. Yeah. Give one gem before we get out of here about. Oh, One gem. Well, I mean, Dr. V said so much, but I, I would love to say, you know, just understanding that we have the power to create our own brain heart coherence is what you kind of end. So to add to that, just understanding that we have to catch ourselves. We have to be responsible for when we're falling out of the brain heart coherence, yep. when we're beginning to slip, when we're beginning to let the let, like what Dr. Amen calls the ants, the automatic negative thoughts in. And we have to say, wait a minute, I'm slipping here. I'm allowing myself to take over, my subconscious to take over. I need to become captain of the ship again. I have to pull myself back into alignment, take some deep breaths, focus on positivity, say some positive affirmations and flip the switch within myself and get back in alignment and then proceed with on my day. If you continue to go down that dark path, you'll tumble, tumble, tumble. And it's like a snowball rolling down a hill. Yes. And by the time it gets to the bottom of that hill, it's a massive ball with yes. a lot of weight, right? And so you don't want that to happen. But you can catch yourself before that thing continues to fall and roll and capture all that mass, yes. all that cargo we were talking about earlier on yes. the other podcast. And I think that if people can catch themselves as they're slipping and sliding down that slippery slope and get themselves back into a brain heart coherence and bring the positive vibration back, they can be positive not only for themselves, but for the other people around them. Yes. And that becomes contagious. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to spread. We want to spread positive vibes, not negative vibes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. One gem. You dropped so many, but we, we, have, one. <laughs> we have to realize that we are a ship, but there's also pirates on the boat. Mm -hmm. You got to locate the pirates mm -hmm. and get them off your boat. And then you've got to figure out what kind of boat is it? Is it a cargo ship? Mm -hmm. If your if you're, a body is a cargo ship, how much of the cargo is yours? Mm -hmm. Are you carrying other people's luggage? When I go to the airport, they're going to say, if you're carrying other people's luggage, don't get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't take anybody else's luggage. Yeah. That's somebody else's ideas, feelings, and their experience. Mm -hmm. See, the pigeon is down on the ground, mm -hmm. pecking around for man's stuff. Eagles don't hang out mm -hmm. with pigeons. Mm -hmm. If the eagle hangs out with pigeons, if it gets us an eagle, it can't fly. Mm -hmm. You see, so stop hanging out with pigeons mm -hmm. if you're an eagle. Mm -hmm. Learn to fly, become the captain of the boat and go to elevationtime.com and check out what we're doing, elevationtime.com. Elevationtime.com. Link will be fly. in the caption. Yes, yes, link will be in the caption. Where can they find you, Dr. B? Elevationtime.com. Elevationtime.com. Oh, also on, okay. on IG. Yeah. IG, what is it? Doc, doc Top. Doc Top. Doc Top. Be serious. serious. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Learn Amazing. to laugh and have some fun. Absolutely. Oh, lastly, also make love out of the things that are not love. Mm. That's alchemy. Yes. yes. Convert it. Convert it. I yeah. love that. Yes. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you. Thank right. you so much for joining us today yeah. on Biohack Your Best Life. Mm -hmm. Of course, an amazing episode. We appreciate you so much. And I appreciate and you. And yeah, I can't wait to have you back for the next yeah. one. Yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thanks, brother. Thank you. All right. Peace. All right, guys. Until next time.